Finn um, for Shamrock Rovers boot room uh, launch. So, Ronan, why are you involved yourself with the boot room? Yeah, no, it is. It's in, I suppose, first and foremost, a uh, you know, great honour uh, to be asked to represent the club along with Anya and Gavin. Um, it's a great initiative from the club. I think, um, you know, you see, you know, just first and foremost, the price of boots these days, um, the cost of living, everything's going up. and. Um, it's just a great initiative from the club to help parents um, have give kids the opportunity to, you know, maybe wear boots of their favourite players, emulate them. Um, this time was a young fella, you know, same position. Um, and you listen, the problem is boots are very expensive. So this is a great thing from the club, and you know, it's it's definitely giving something back. Yeah, and just on the topic there of favourite boots, um, just got a question here. What are your favourite boots that you ever worn, or that your favourite players worn, or something? Yeah, I actually always try and get get old boots from from a long time ago. Okay. You know, I just love the kind of um, the old school boots. So, yeah. and uh, I think Nike Nike CTRs are, are what I'm wearing at the minute. Yeah. You know, you can't get them now, but yeah. uh, you scour the internet and you find yeah. them. So I know that they're a nice boot. Yeah, um, and just on like academies and on, on that topic, how important do you think academies are for young lads coming through and having a good structure with their footballing career? Yeah, of course. I mean, you need to have. Um, everything in place, you know. You look at the academy here. You know they're given every opportunity. It's about your, your gym work, your diet, and um, you need to have these principles in place. And um, the club has this, and then it, it will translate into force team. Um, you know if they get the opportunity. You know you want to be make sure that they're best prepared. That you know when the gaffer calls them in, that you know they're up to speed. They they used to you know moving the ball and um, high technical speed and. Um, you know, you don't want them caught cold, you want to give them every chance to progress in their career and, and, and they're getting that here. And then just on a personal level with the, the first team, um, you still have Drada United this, this Friday evening. What are your thoughts going into the game? Yeah, Drada always um, difficult opponents. Um, we, um, we were reviewing video work on them today and we'll continue to do that on tours. They um, never an easy place to go to. Uh, they're a tough side, they've got some, a lot of experienced players and uh, they've been difficult opponents for us, so you know, we'll treat them with huge amount of respect and hopefully go up there and get a positive result. And obviously as it stands, you're top of the table. Um, how confident are you that you could possibly grab another title this season? This squad is full of experience, it's full of league winners. Um, I always back the group, I think um, we put ourselves in a strong position and we just got to concentrate on Friday. I think we are rolling to Friday. Um, you know, be professional, hopefully get a good performance and a good result and we move on from there. And you got a few Championship, uh, Champions League qualifiers coming up in the next few weeks. Um, how important are those games for the club? Yeah, Europe's always a massive time for the club. It's always an exciting time for fans, players alike. Um, it is. It's it's always a nice time. But um, you know, we'll do. And when the time comes, we'll do our homework on them. They won't be any, <coughs> won't be easy opponents. They're a good side. The Champions Voice and for a reason. They qualified um, last week to get to this stage and, and when the time comes um, we will do our homework. And um, how confident are you of this team to make it possibly true true to the Champions League group stages? <laughs> yeah, as I said, I we're an experienced group. I always I always back us um, the staff here give us every opportunity yeah. to do that. It's you know, in Europe you have to do a lot of homework, you have to do a lot of research on your position. It's not like just playing like league games where you, you know your opposition, you know your players that you're up against. So, uh, fairness to staff, you know, they give us every chance to do that, um, and I think the, the games with Tala, you know, will always be exciting football. And then, you know, hopefully, um, bet between over the two legs, we can go find a competition. Thanks very much, Ron. All right, thank Cheers, you. Cheers. Thanks.